Hey friends and welcome back to another fall clean and decorate with me for the year 2020. I'm so excited to be doing this video right now. It's one of my favorite videos that I get to do every year. I'm so excited about the way the house turned out. I think it's probably my favorite way I've ever decorated the house. So stay tuned to the end so you can see everything when it's done. I also wanted to mention that today's video is in collaboration with one of my favorite people here on YouTube, Lindsay from Lindsay's Life and Style. She is an amazing mama. She has such a sweet heart. She is just such a down to earth, genuine, kind human being. So go check out her video. She's gonna be decorating her house for fall today as well and cleaning. This is her little girl, Ava. I love her, she's so cute. Go check out her video. It's linked in the description box. She is amazing and I know you will love her. So one of the things I'm gonna be doing today is making my house smell like fall with some cloves, some cinnamon sticks, some vanilla, and some orange peels. So I'm just going to be putting it into this pot and I'm going to boil this and then it's gonna make the whole house smell amazing. I also wanted to invite you guys to follow me over on Instagram. My handle is katie.satilli and I'm always active over there on my stories every day. I love posting on Instagram and connecting with you guys in my DMs. So funny because as I was preparing for this video I was planning out different things that I wanted to do in it and I always want to do some sort of like baking or some sort of hearty like warm fallish type recipe but I'm actually on a diet and can't eat any of those things right now so I wanted to make sure and include a recipe of something that you guys could do as well and this thing smells uh, amazing. I'm telling you, it smells like fall so much. So if you have a chance to try it out this fall season, tag me on Instagram and let me know how it turns out. I wanted to find a fall movie to watch while I'm decorating today. So I thought that they had Casper on Netflix and I was like, yes, take me back to 1993, but they don't have it. So I'm gonna settle for the Adams Family from 1991. Mm -hmm. So first things first, I'm just going to be putting these pillows into these pillowcases that I ordered. They're actually from a couple years ago and I ordered them off of Amazon. So I'll try to make sure to have that linked in the description box for you guys if you want to check those out. But I love these little like faux leather throw pillows. I just feel like they add some like warm tones to the house and it's the first year that I put them out for fall and I really, really like how it turned out. I'm like a sucker for some good throw pillows, so um, I can't wait to show you kind of like how I designed or styled the couch. Also, these Buffalo Check orange pillowcases were a DIY project. I made them, I believe, last year or the year before, I can't remember, out of just a couple napkins that I got from TJ Maxx.
So normally in my fall clean and decorate videos, I have some sort of fall spray. I usually get it from Grove Collaborative, but this year I didn't end up getting any. So I'm just using like a regular old <laughs> cleaner, nothing special for fall. But I am excited that this table runner that Sean and I got when we were married, when we first got married, um, can be used for fall. And I pulled out some leaves from these strands of fall colored leaves that I had from many, many years ago. And I just pulled them out and put them into this wreath because I really wanted to get a fall wreath this year, but I just could not bring myself to spend like 25 bucks on it this year. So maybe next year, who knows, or maybe at the end of the fall season, I'll find something on sale. But anyway, so I'm just gonna go and finish putting these into the wreath. Now I'm heading over to this little bookshelf area and I'm just gonna be placing pumpkins randomly on it. And I have some greenery that I'm gonna pull in in just a second here. But I was really excited about how this turned out. I feel like I have a vision in my mind, but I honestly am not the best decorator and sometimes I cannot execute the vision that I have in my mind. So. I was really excited that I was able to kind of like make it look how I wanted it to look. So yeah, I'm really excited about this area. So last year at Hobby Lobby, I tried to go with like a white pumpkin theme. And so I got a ton of like white picks with pumpkins on them and different options of white pumpkins. So this year I wanted to kind of implement some oranges as well and kind of pull in all of my fall decor into this year's decorations. And I really love how it turned out. Anyway, so right now I'm just gonna be putting those picks into this little like foliage area on this basket that I have. And I really like how it adds just like a little pop of fall in the corner. So now I'm just heading over to my shelves and I'm kind of just pulling all of the little decorations that I have left over. I didn't really have a plan for this area, but it's funny because I, I kind of binge watched some fall decorate and clean videos with me before I filmed this. And it really helped me just to kind of remember that you don't really have to know exactly what you're gonna do, but you just kind of have to be willing to move things around until something looks right. 
So that is what I went ahead and did this day is just kind of moved things around. I got this pumpkin like two years ago, I think at the end of the season and I got it from Hobby Lobby and I think it was on clearance because it was actually broken, but I taped it up on the back, which you can't even tell, but I got it for like $3. So I think that's a score. So I really wanted to hang these berries up here um, above the fireplace, but I couldn't get the push pins to go into the area that I needed it to go into. So it was kind of annoying and it just didn't end up working. So I ended up going for, I put the berries in a different place, which you'll see in just a little bit. But I went ahead and hung um, a little banner that I have that says give thanks and I really like how that turned out. It's actually what I did last year in this area and it always kind of adds just like a fun neutral pop. So this is where I ended up putting the berries. I really like how it turned out and I feel like I'm such a berry person when it comes to decor, like especially around this time of year or Christmas. I love the look of berries. I feel like it's just so pretty and I don't know, I just love it. So next up, I am moving on to the kitchen and I've got this in my FabFitFun box. It's actually just like a really cute little rug and I love how it turned out and how it looks in the kitchen. Now I'm going to be heading into Pinterest to grab my quote for my little letter board that I have and I did a bunch of just like brainstorming of Pinterest and looking for things that inspired me for this year's fall decor. So if you want to find me over on Pinterest, I have that linked in the description as well. always see people do really cute like coffee bar type things and you guys know if you've been around here for a while that I am such a coffee snob coffeeaholic whatever you want to call it I just love coffee so much um, so I've always wanted to do something like that but I really don't have a ton of space and I already have a tiered tray but I use it for produce so it's kind of funny because I wanted something over here by the coffee maker, but I didn't really know what, but this turned out really cute and honestly makes me laugh. Even though I'm on a diet, I'm not getting my fat, fat pants ready, but I just thought it was really like a funny little quote to think of when we are approaching this time of year because typically we do need to get our fat pants ready. <laughs>
so this is just how my kitchen actually looked when you pan out on it it's so funny because i was avoiding this area i cannot stand when this area be becomes cluttered it just drives me nuts um, but it becomes cluttered every single day so I try to keep it clean it's kind of like what I consider my desk area um, I have my notebook on here my to-do list um, my food journal which I write, write down everything that I eat right now and yeah so this is kind of like my area so I try to keep it as clean as possible So I was really excited about the way that everything turned out. I just wanted to show you guys like a quick overview of everything that I did again. And I just love like the fall season and what it represents and what it means is coming our way slash cooler weather. I'm just so excited for things to cool down and for the holidays to begin. So make sure you head over and check out Lindsay's video. It's down in my description box. If you're visiting from Lindsay's channel, thanks for being here. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button followed by the bell for notifications. And I will see everybody in my next video. Bye guys.